Welcome to Beginner's CSS. My name is Steph. So CSS is the sister language to HTML. CSS is short for Cascading Style Sheet, and it is the language that is used to add style, to add pizzazz to a website. So let me give you a quick demo. So I've launched my web browser, and let me just fit it in here so we can see it nice and clear. There we go. So let's check out a site. So uh, yeah, here's one of my sites, how to build websites. And uh, so you see the layout here. We got our images. We got two columns in the bottom here. Left column, right column, big header, tabs, the whole nine yards. So let's look at something. So now we're going to disable all the styles. So what does this mean? See, we're on the CSS tab. So we're going to disable all the CSS styling information. So what does that all mean? That means that CSS is a language that adds style to a web page. So by using the browser tools to remove the styles, to disable the styles, we're going to see what the web page looks like without CSS code working on the page. It's just like turning off a light switch. So we're going to turn off the CSS switch. And here we go. So here is what the page looks like. Our raw HTML with no CSS. So we've seen this before, right? You've done the beginner's HTML course. We've seen our list items here. These are unordered lists, right? And our headers, paragraphs, and so on. Do we have an image? Well, we got these little tiny images here. These are little gifts, I guess. But that's about it. Well, we have this image at the top. So let's now turn the CSS back on. Same page. Now the CSS is activated. You can see how much of an impact CSS has on a web page. It's a very important computer language. So in this course, we're going to take it step by step, nice and slow. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about CSS to be able to build beautiful looking pages like this. What do you need to know to learn CSS? You need to know basic HTML. So I assume that you've done my beginner's HTML course and you'll be using the same text editor, excuse me, the same code editor that you're using to build your HTML. You do it with the CSS as well. Of course, just like with HTML, because CSS is just code, you could write CSS with a simple text editor like Notepad or text edit on Mac, but it's better to use code editors because we get all the advantages of code editors. CSS is a bit of a hard nut to crack. What does that mean? CSS is a little bit harder to learn, especially the advanced stuff, when you compare it to HTML. So don't worry if you have trouble. Don't worry if some things don't make sense. As you go through the course, as you write more CSS code, as you do more quiz questions, things will slowly come to you. And you know, you might not get something on Monday, but you know, maybe Wednesday or Thursday you'll have it. And the great thing about learning how to code is once you know it, you know it, and it can't be taken away. What's important is to understand the basic principles. That's the key to learning how to code. And uh, so you concentrate on those basic beginner's concepts, those beginner's principles, those beginner's ideas, techniques, and you'll be well on your way to becoming a full-fledged nerd. All right, this lesson's long enough. Let's move on.